crossed over into Alabama. I don't know if there's adequate civilized words to describe how I feel about the loathing I have for Birmingham. I've never been to the city of Birmingham. All I can tell you is the highway through Birmingham is a giant stick and a pile of poo. So I was uh, doing a lot of uh, power washing, and, and one has copious amounts of time to ponder things. And one of the things I think I'd like to do next year is start spending more time traveling uh, in between my seasons, in between November and uh, whenever I get to my work camp and job, and possibly in the spring like I'm doing right now on the way back to the Buckeye. What I find is uh, I spent a couple nights on the road. I just want to do more. It's like canoe camping. I spent a couple nights in the canoe camping, and I just want to camp more in the canoe. So that'll be that'll be an interesting uh, interesting occurrence. The other thing is I did order a uh, personal a solo canoe. Uh, we did a livery order, so I was able to get a canoe at a little bit of a discount. Um, they're building them from um, um, Old Town, and they're building to, building them to order now. So we did a, we put a significant order in for us. Uh, however, our, our arrival date is in August. So at some point, I'll have a new canoe, single solo canoe that's light enough I can manhandle and put on the Yukon, put on the Yukon without too much trouble, and uh, do some canoe camping next year. And hopefully, do some canoeing on the Mohican. Um, we'll see. The way it should be. Work camping, boondocking. Symbiotic relationship. Well, I found. Kentucky Stonehenge. However, it does appear to be in someone's yard. Okay, it literally is on somebody's private property. Uh, there's a donation box. Of course, I don't have any small bills with me, but um, it was I drop a few dollars in there and um, we'll go walk around real quick, take a look. Kentucky Stonehenge. As we're driving through rural Kentucky, I have another seasonal professional boondocking on the road work camper pro tip. It's known as the finger wave. Now generally, uh, you're going to be left hand on top of the wheel uh, and you're going to see an approaching vehicle. And this just happened that I had forgotten all about it, but I did uh, remember my etiquette. And uh, so you're going to, your vehicle's coming at you. As they approach, uh, you're going to give them a finger. Not that finger, just a, a finger. If you're real friendly, you're going to go two. If you're super friendly, you might go all four. Remember, don't do the single flute. That's probably bad taste. But, yeah, two fingers is good. A couple, couple fingers opened up. Um, but, yeah, you want to make sure you get the finger wave at any approaching vehicles as you are in a rural area. This counts for most areas off the highway where you will want to boondock and probably work camp. All right, looks like we've got everybody down here now. 
So welcome everybody to the first stop on our tour, and really the first pop arcade you can see today. That right there is our majestic, beautiful blue hole. You all would have actually been standing in about knee-deep water right now. Uh, water was about this high up the path about a week and a half ago. We're just now able to enter the cave again. Um, so the water's still going to be a little bit murky as we go through the system. Instead of being a beautiful sky blue, it turns into some gross chocolate milk. water here in Kentucky. So this is the first day in three months that the cave has actually been open. My thoughts on the uh, whole Lost River Cave trip. Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, it's not a real long ride, but you are going in a subterranean cave on a river, small river. It's a Blue Hole Spring Creek, and um, it's only 20 bucks. It's worth it. It is a nonprofit. They are protecting the area and protecting the water resource. It's a pretty cool cave tour um, with the masks. The hard part was um, our tour guide. You couldn't hear him very well through his mask, speaking into a microphone that was uh, attached to his little speaker on his belt. So he kind of sounded, he wasn't, couldn't hear him very well through the whole trip. Anyway, sun's setting here, uh, making about a 400 mile trip home tomorrow, back to the undisclosed location in the OH of IO. And we'll see how that goes, but it's been a good week on the road and I'd like to make it longer next time. Yo 
Ohio River, every YouTube channel that goes up here has to have this bridge. Here's the bridge. to show everyone there's still snow left on Wally Road. So 